Hi. Um, I've decided to do maybe just this video or um, maybe more um, to try and make some sort of positive gain out of, I guess, what's been a bumpy life. Um, and I guess also try and be uh, a bit of a, a support to men out there to, in this day and age. Um, being a man is a, can be a tough thing. Um, you know, there's that degree of um, producer, hunter, um, supplier for the family. Um, and when things don't quite work out, um, men can sometimes feel like it's a failure or a problem of theirs. Um, but I think as society changes and what have you, uh, men don't need to carry that, um, shall we, let's call it a burden. Um, they don't need to be the great warrior that they might think they are. Um, and men need to realize that it's okay to say things are not working out, to say I'm struggling, to say, um, and I would just want to bore my eyes out um, that I am really struggling. I guess what, um, you know, your friends always say, you know, if you've got a problem, you can talk to me um, and so on and so on forth. But finding that right person to talk to uh, can be like finding a nugget of gold. Um, because as much as your friends and your mates might say, oh, you could have rung me, you could have spoken to me and what have you, you know in your heart of hearts who is capable of listening and understanding what you're going through. Um, you don't need a, here, have a beer, you'll be right tomorrow. Um, she'll be right, and what have you. You need, you need more often than not somebody to listen and understand and say, hey, look, it's okay to, to be struggling, um, but we can help by this or that or, or whatever. Um, more often than not, it's the sharing of what you're battling with that um, can help. Um, but it, I guess the main thing is, is just as men, you just got to uh, realize that you're a human. You do have emotions. You do have weaknesses. Um, you do have um, a sensitive side that often wants to come out. But you don't let it. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to be prepared to say, look, I'm battling, I'm struggling. Um, because an option of checking out um, is a selfish option. Um, it's all about you and, and this misconception that the world is better off without you. Um, you leave behind a lot of upset and sad people. Um, I know this from experience, losing losing Sean, my son, um, who decided that his life issues were just too big and he needed to leave, um, low self-esteem. Um, but in comparison to what an adult goes through, then it's probably the equivalent of a day's, day's stress. But, at the age of 15, the world can be a big, scary place. Um, it is good to have somebody to talk to. It is good to have someone that just listens. Um, 
yes, you might need a hug every once in a while, and that's okay. Um, but men, it's okay to cry. Um, it's often the letting out of that emotion that um, helps or starts the healing. Um, just realising that you're struggling. You're realising that things are getting on top of you um, and you've got to share it, mate. You've got to talk. You've got to acknowledge to yourself first that there is a problem and then acknowledge to somebody that, hey, I'm battling. You don't necessarily have to tell your story. Um, if you've got that right person, you can just say, hey, I'm, I'm struggling. Um, and often that, to the right person, that's enough to just be there, be there to listen, um, be there to just um, be a shoulder. Um, you don't necessarily need that person to suddenly come out with a list of what will make it right or or anything. It's just sharing and just having somebody there that um, can share that burden or at least understand and acknowledge that what you're feeling is human. Um, and the fact that taking that first step to share um, is a huge step, magnificent step um, towards healing. Um, when you bottle it up, it just gets bigger and heavier and will overload you over time. Um, you know, I've been in, in situations where, you know, you question what life is about. You question, why me? Um, you look at others and think, oh, they're doing so well. Um, but then I think you also have to realise that other people have their own issues, they have their own problems. They may well put on a great front and they may well, you know, have all the money and and what have you, but doesn't mean they're happy, content and, and everything's sweet. Um, but back to, back to yourself, you know, that first step is just realising that, hey, I am battling. Um, how do you pick who you talk to? I don't know, I think you just know. Um, you'll know that of that person that listens, that person that um, isn't thinking about their answer before you finish talking. Um, that person that maybe thinks a little bit deeper, um, that can also read your body language. Um, yes, there are counsellors out there. There's all sorts of counselling options and what have you. Um, but I guess I've got more out of um, talking to talking to others. Um, I don't have much family um, other than a half brother and a part of a half sister um, and a lovely stepdaughter. Um, but you know they have their lives. They've got their issues, they've got their things that they have to deal with. Um, but it's nice to know they're there and if needed, you know, um, a chat can be had and they will listen, which is great. So, yeah, if I can make a positive start for somebody, you know, just to realise that you are fragile, you aren't the concrete pillar that you think you are. You will have times when things get on top of you. You will have times when, you know, you think silly things, but if you've got family around you, you've got friends, mates, um, they need you around. So, um, yeah, share your issues, um, show, show your sensitive side. If anybody doesn't understand, then they don't matter. Um, 
So just be prepared to realize you've got a problem, realize you need to share it with somebody, um, but pick that person um, because you, you don't need the insensitivity, you need the ears, you need the caring, um, but it's the first step to healing. Cool. Talk soon.